Okay, so how many liters of a 25% saline solution must be added to three liters of a 10% saline solution? So 25% of a saline solution. So let's think about um, a container here that's got this 25% saline solution. And how many liters, that's the hint. So let's say there are X liters in this bucket here. And out of that 25% um, is saline, right? So 25% of X, so that's gonna be 0.25 X, okay? That's the salt and the remaining part is gonna be all water. Just think about it like this. Same way, if you've got three liters of a 10% saline solution, you are gonna have three liters here and 10% of it, so three times 0.1, which gives you 0.3. So that's gonna be 0.3 amount of salt. Remember, the 10% saline solution means any amount which has got 10% of that amount, the 10% of that amount is going to be salt, right? So because 10% of 3 is 0 0.3, so 0 0.3 is your saline solution here. 0 0.25 of X is going to be your salt over here. Now, these two are added together. So they're, when they're added, you're going to have the total amount of the liquid, which includes the water and the salt, all right? Everything combined is X plus 3. And the salt from here is going to go inside and the salt from here is going to go inside. So these are just going to be added together. So you're going to have 0.25x plus 0 0.3. That's your new saline solution now with x plus 3 as a total volume. And this is the total salt. All you're doing is just adding these two salts in here and adding these two volumes in here, right? So the numerator is going to be 0.25x plus 0 0.3 which is the amount of salt and then divided by x plus 3 here is going to be equal to the amount of the salt in it and now this is 15 percent right so that's 0.15 all right let me just move all of this information here Okay, and now actually let's try to solve it one more time. This is the salt, this is the total amount, and that's the actual definition of the saline solution, right? That's 15%, salt divided by the total volume. And now just move this to the top here. So you get 0.25x plus 0.3 is equal to 0.15 times x plus 3, right? You just distribute this, you're gonna get 0.15x plus 0.45, because you're multiplying this and this, right? And then you're going to have 0.25x plus 0.3 here. Now you move this to the other side. In other words, you subtract 0.15x from both sides, right? And you move this guy to the other side. In other words, you subtract by 0.3. So you take minus 0.3 over here. So this is gone. And all you're left now is 0.25 minus 0.15 is 0.10x is equal to, all of this is gone, is equal to 0.15, right? And now, 0.10x just divide by 0 0.10 on both sides so this value you get x to be equal to 0 0.15 or 0 0.10 and then this is actually equal to just 1.5 and so that's your answer so this is going to be x which is this total amount and that's what they were asking right that's the most important idea you need to understand how many liters you just take that to be x and then move on with the problem okay so maybe if you want to try the problem and you can post it uh, in the comments below how many liters this is a new problem how many liters of a um, 50 percent solution saline solution must be added to five liters of a 20 percent saline solution to obtain okay how many liters of a 50 percent solution must be added to five liters of a 20% solution, okay, to obtain a 30% solution, okay? So post your comments and let me see if you can solve this. If you understood it, you'll be able to solve this problem, okay? So thank you.